So today we're going to do something interesting. We're going to play something that's obviously not Hearts of Iron 4, right? Actually, you know, it's Hearts of Iron 4 still. It's kind of misleading with the title screen, but it's, it's Hearts of Iron 4, yeah. But it's cool because it's in 1300. So the world's a lot different than the world of Hearts of Iron 4. Vanilla, lots of cool stuff, border gore everywhere. Russia is typical, China is nice, no border gore there. And that that's the one improvement from vanilla in terms of border gore. I guess is the Mongol Empire still kind of a thing? I don't know, we'll have to see. But of course today we're gonna play as the Byzantine Empire. There's no one else for us to play as reasonably, right? If the Byzantine Empire is here, it'd be a sin not to play as them. So let's look at factions. There could be an HRE faction and a Mongol Empire faction, that's- or none. Huh. Oh, I see how this works. Austria is just guaranteeing everybody. Uh, they should have just made a faction in my opinion, but I guess that would be kind of overpowered and it'd be kind of boring if you wanted to try to unite states. How strong are we though? Whoa, ow, my eyes, Oh, Well, actually, this is a, kind of cool. I actually kind of appreciate the leader art style. Like, this is kind of nifty. First, I was kind of shocked. I kind of yelled out in disgust, but this is okay. Nine civilian and five military factories. That's... Okay, let's look at our neighbors. I'm especially interested in this one neighbor called the Ottoman Beylik, led by Osman. Oh, this guy, he's gonna be quite the problem, I can already tell. And I believe research is just retextured, I think. Oh, actually there's medicine. Spy net. I was expecting this to be a pretty badly thrown together mod, but this is really nice. This is so good on the eyes, too. The Chinese military school was based on the teaching of Sunza? Yes, I remember that one time I read Sunza while playing China. Just me reading Sunza's The Art of War while playing Hoi 4. It's just that, literally. But this is so cool. I love all the focus doctrines. False retreat, infantry, rush, spearman formation, militia fury, siege skills, balanced army. Oh yeah, and then there's cavalry instead of tanks. Oh yes. Do we have the winged hussars? Probably not, but that would be fun. Oh, and I just noticed something kind of important. We're at war with Venice. I'll, we just start off at war with them, that's interesting. Hopefully we have a navy, I assume Venice's navy is more powerful than us, but there's not much we can do in this war without a navy because we don't border each other. But let's see if we can pull off a naval invasion. Let's just have one guy guard the great city of Constantinople, modern day Istanbul, and the rest we can try maybe to get a naval invasion of Venice's island right here. We probably don't have naval invasion tech, I would assume. It's gonna take us 105 days to research the research that we need to invade. Unfortunate, a lot of mods do it. I kind of wish they gave it to us just because there's nothing we can do against Venice without it. Oh no, everybody, I spoke too soon. There is actually an HRE mechanic in this game. We're, of course, not in HRE, but um, th there is an HRE mechanic here. Um, hey, we have a guy riding over on this boat to land here and take the first city of the war. It looks undefended, which is good, because I haven't even looked at how bad these divisions are. Ah, uh, they're A-twiths. Perfect. It's unfortunately not a port, so now this guy is stuck here for the rest of eternity. Oh, actually, it is a port. Hey, why is he stuck here then? It looks like we got naval supremacy easy, and this should be fine. I'm sure they're defending it with something. Yeah, right there. But we'll take this port and land in the other tiles. So we should be able to finish the job, yes. Perfect, and this island Crete is ours. I mostly just call things this island, but I actually know what this one is called, so sorry, I swear I know what Crete's called. Bad news, the game crashed and I had to restart, but this time we're just going to invade Zara, Crete, and this place all in one foul swoop. Oh, the lag was really bad for a second and then this happened. <laughs> oh no. Uh, China's broken, I spoke too soon, I was all happy about them being together, but like, look at this. Wait a second, there's like an EU4 peace system. We can kind of try to take their stuff, Crete and this other place that we occupied, and we can ask for some money. 
The country agreed to our peace treaty, that's really cool. I think this that's like another mod or something, or I don't know if that was built specially for this. But that's cool, and that ended the war. Perfect. Okay, let's expand just a little bit, retake some of our core states before the Ottomans come for us. Or it might be a good idea to attack the Ottomans before they get too powerful. Or maybe, um, people will attack the Ottomans for us. This guy, he seems pretty aggressive. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll finish our war first and then we can look over there for a long time. We should be able to deal with them swiftly. It looks like they only have two divisions, which isn't enough to really defend themselves. And they're moving out of their capital anyways. And that was good, but we lost a lot of swords. I've noticed that's our problem. We just lose so much equipment that we can't keep up with these war efforts. I would keep going to war over and over again and take more stuff, but it's... It's just so difficult, and I don't have enough intelligence on the Ottomans either, so I don't know how strong they actually are. I even sent a spy there, but I don't know, we, we just, we were just not getting enough information. I guess we can prepare to try to take these core states from Naples, and then we can peace out. Oh, and France decided to test their luck against the Holy Roman Empire. This was not a good idea for them, and Poland. Wait, is Poland in the HRE? It's time to go to war against Naples. I don't know how difficult this war will be. This might not go so well because they have actual divisions guarding their stuff, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh no. There, and we took it all. It's probably because we're actually making our divisions a little more decent. They have engineers and now they're, they have like seven swordsmen in there. Let's see if we can peace out. We might have to wait a while or maybe we could just take Southern Italy. It's kind of our rightful claim. We don't have cores on it, but it's part of the former Roman Empire. So it's kind of our claim. Guess no harm in trying. And then if we can't get the naval supremacy again, we can just do what we did with Venice. Okay, let's see if our invasion of Italy can be a success. We can reclaim our ancient territory in the Roman Empire. We can't quite get to Rome without going through the, the Pope man. who's at war with the Knights Templar. And it's all ours. Well, we don't have cores on some of it, so I'm kind of reluctant to just take all of this. Huh, now they're a puppet with quite a bit of factories. Uh, I could have taken them, but this is La Resistance, so compliance would have been terrible, thwarting my plans once again. It's, they're better off as a puppet anyway. They'll make some divisions, be kind of useful. They'll get their own treasury too, so they'll get money and then they can buy swords for themselves, so they're pretty decent as a puppet. I guess next it's probably time to go after the Ottomans before they get way too powerful. Though we actually have intelligence on them. Three to seven divisions, okay, we can take them. And this guy looks pretty epic, like our general Vladimir the Third. That's such an epic name too, this guy. Great beard, great name, he looks angry. Those are all points in my book. This guy must be a great general. Don't look at those stats though. Just, just you know, look at the portrait, obvious. And Vladimir the Third, such an epic general name also like wow and France declared war in Brittany too like they already didn't have enough problems but I guess they're holding on somehow by some miracle I kind of want to declare on France just to see what's going on though just to like a naval invade here and look at what's happening Okay, so it's time for the war, the war to prevent our inevitable downfall. Well, not really our inevitable downfall if we're preventing it. No matter how many divisions they have, whether they have four or eight, it probably doesn't matter because our 20 wits are much better than their eight wits that they probably have if they started with the same division. And they're done, Mr. Osman. Sorry. In one timeline, and I promise you it's successful, but today, no. <laughs> no, not today. Oh wait, does someone have a war goal against us? Oh, France has a war goal against Naples. 
Oh, and France peaced out. How did France peace out for so much? But I noticed we actually can build training camps to get recruitable population, temples to get political power, even libraries to get research speed. So I kind of want to invest in some of that soon. I'll still build up my civilian industry for a little bit more after I'm done building the sawmills. But in the future, I'm planning on for sure investing some into libraries and temples. Because getting political advisors costs daily political power, so you kind of have to build some temples to get the political power back that you're losing. And wow, they actually have one division on every tile bordering us. I guess Naples had the same thing down in Greece, but huh, still not scared. We'll just let our divisions org up and then we will go right through them. I'm sure they're still terrible divisions. <laughs> There's also this class system, like there's the nobles, peasants, clergy, artisans, and traders. And when they have enough support, we can do these decisions that cause us to lose support, but then we get cool things like a research slot, which is pretty good. I'm probably going to save up a thousand ducats, I guess I should probably call them, to get a research slot. That will be very cool. And I definitely don't understand the economy system completely. It's very complicated. Everything you do has some sort of effect on how much money you're making. Sometimes I'm losing five a month. Sometimes I'm gaining 10. I don't know. It's very complicated. I also keep getting bad events like soldiers desert and stuff. I don't really know what's causing that to happen. It's kind of confusing. Like I have low taxes, so people should be happy, right? And this is our last battle that we can really do before getting into a major war. So I guess let's, let's have fun one last time. And there we are, the Byzantine Empire, restored at least somewhat. Our next war will be against the Mamluks, so that's actually going to be difficult, I assume. I'm trying to spy on them to get some intelligence, but it isn't really working. Kind of nervous about how this will go, but we can still try to beat them, get the last of our core states back before restoring the Roman Empire or something. But this mod is overall pretty fun. It has some mechanics that are complicated, but they look good and promising. There's some stuff that could be better explained, like I wish when you got a bad event it told you why you got the bad event, or like, do this to fix it, I don't know, something like that would be useful. Overall, good mod though, runs really well, at least for me, well like, really well might be an overstatement, it runs decently, like, it's as much as I could expect from any mod really, so I enjoyed so far, hope to play more. If you enjoyed too, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.